couple of weeks ago, I uploaded uh, this video, which is all about how to update to the latest version of Popcorn Theme, version 1.1.1. Now in that video, I forgot to talk about one of the most important features uh, within 1.1.1, and that is the widgetized footer area. This is a great improvement to Popcorn Theme because it gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you lay out your footer and the kind of content that you add to your footer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up that widget footer area, how to drop in some widgets and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Let's go. So the site I'm gonna be working on is this one, dartpix.com. It's a site that I purchased a little while back. I'm trying to flip it. It's actually doing pretty well at the moment. Um, adding loads of content and stuff. I'll be doing a full update soon. But of course it is running popcorn theme. And yeah, I'm gonna switch around this uh, footer here. I'm gonna switch it to a widget footer. Give us a bit more flexibility. And yeah, I'll show you how that all works now. Let's go. So I'm logged in. I'm gonna go into customize. First, I'm gonna switch on the widgets. So by default, these are set within the popcorn theme options in here. You've got your affiliate disclaimer here. Then this is just the menu that you can set within the menu settings. So let's switch this to widgets. So to do that, I'm gonna go into popcorn footer settings. I'm gonna change this basically to the number of columns that you want. I'm gonna go for a, a three column, I think. A three column will be fine. There we go. Let's go for publish. Now we just need to add some widgets. So to do that, if we go back, uh, we can go into widgets here. And you've got the block widgets here. Got it. It's a new way of doing things. Let's give it a go. And then you can basically add whatever you like. So I think an affiliate disclaimer is a good thing to have. So let's do that first. I'm gonna add a paragraph. Then we can just start typing in here. So let's put affiliate dis. Disclaimer. Then you've got all your usual things. You can just kind of highlight that, make it into a heading, H2. Maybe that's a little big. Let's, uh, let's go for a H4. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next line. Oh, I can't remember what my disclaimer is. Let me just copy it from another site. Uh, where should we copy it from? Let's go on, Papa. That's it, short and sweet, perfect. So let's just paste that in. There we go. Now, it looks a little weird, like the wrong font and stuff on the preview. Don't worry about that. We'll fix all the fonts and stuff in a moment. So there's that, let's click Publish. Let's close Best Corn Popper now. Okay, let's go back and go to Footer Widget 2. Uh, for this one, I think I'm gonna add another paragraph. Uh, just a little about us, like that. Again, let's make it a heading, H4. And then just press enter and then add some about us text. Have I got an about us? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just copy and paste this in. So as you can see, widgets give you a lot of flexibility because there is loads of widgets to choose from. Um, you know, all these things, you can add an image, you can add some code, a quote, whatever you like, really. There we go, there's the about us. So I'm just gonna take that down a little bit, it's a little bit too long, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Okay, and then for the third widget, what I wanna do is add a menu. So let me show you how that's gonna work. First of all, I'm gonna add a heading. Browse our content. Like that again, make that a H4. Then below, I'm gonna add a menu. Navigation menu like that. But 
But before we can actually add a menu, I need to actually go and create one. So let's do that. Let me just publish this. We go back, go back, go into menus. I'm gonna create a new menu. I'm gonna call it a footer widget menu. I'm not gonna tick any of these boxes. Let's go next. I'm gonna add some items. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the posts page. I'm gonna add the categories, this one and this one. This I'm gonna to change to all articles. Like that, and then I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom like that. Perfect. Click Publish. Let's go back, back again. Back into Widgets, Footer Free Widget. Then click on the Navigation Menu, and I'm gonna select that one I just created, Footer Widget Menu, there we go. In fact, I probably didn't even need to add the heading. I could maybe just put it in here, look. No, okay, that looks different. Let's not do that. There we go, there's our menu. So let's publish and take a look. We may need to just tweak a few things uh, in terms of the styling. So let's have a look. It's gonna switch back to the front of the site. Let's get rid of that, there we go. There we go, it doesn't look too bad actually. It doesn't look too bad at all. The only thing that I'm thinking is that it needs a little bit more space at the bottom. It seems like there's more space at the top than at the bottom. Which I'm gonna report that back to Phil, but for the time being, I can use a little bit of custom CSS. Uh, I'll put this code um, somewhere for you to copy and paste. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. But basically, yeah, what we need to do is add, well, adjust this padding here. I'm gonna add a little bit more at the bottom. So to that, I'm gonna just add some extra attributes so that we've got a bit more flexibility. The way it goes in CSS, this is the top number, this is the right, this is the bottom, this is the left. So let's just increase the bottom to two rem. Oh, hang on, what have I done? Two rem, ah, there we go. That's better. Maybe three rem, is that better? Two, three, 2.5. I think I'm gonna go for free. I think we'll go for free. I'm just gonna copy this. This is how you basically do any CSS changes. You can just make your changes in your browser using the inspect feature. Then once you've made your changes, copy that little bit of code. In the customize section, go into additional CSS. Paste it in, publish. There we go, let's take a look at the finished article. Beautiful. There we go, we got a widgetized footer. That brings to the end of this video. Hopefully you got your widgets all set up. Uh, let me know in the comments, I do read all the comments that I get, and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. To avoid missing any future videos, make sure you're subscribed, click that subscribe button and click the bell, and you should get some notifications. But until next time, bye for now.